OMG. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I appreciate you. Thank you for clicking on this video. It's Jody Dunn. I'm coming at you with a weekly video and I'm actually outside of the laundromat right now. You'll learn why later in the video. And I thought what a perfect time while I'm waiting for my laundry to go ahead and just film a quick intro. If you are new and you just found the channel, I am so happy that you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new right down there. I would love to welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming back to another video. Stay tuned in this video. I will be announcing the Amazon gift card winner from um, the gift card giveaway that I announced uh, last week. So today, I don't think we're gonna do any decluttering today, but what we are gonna do, I'm so, so excited. Um, I've already filmed a bedroom, a master bedroom and a master closet, <laughs> the closet in my master bedroom declutter. I will link both of those videos down in the description box if you haven't seen them and you want to check them out. And um, after that, I had my wallpaper removed in my bedroom and I had my bedroom painted and I love it so much, but it is not decorated at all. So we're going to take it from super boring looking and just spruce it up and make it look super cute and my style. We're also going to be doing a little bit of painting. Uh, so I got some good things coming in this video. If you enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. Let's head to my bedroom. All right, let's take a look at what it looks like right now. I am still so in love with this Italian ice and mint green color. So this is what my bed looks like. My husband always puts a pillow over or a blanket over his pillow in case the cats get up there. He doesn't want them laying on his pillow. Oh, look at this beautiful green. Oh my gosh, I love that color so much. I kind of wish now I would have just done my whole bedroom in it, but it's totally fine. I love it. So I have never, ever had curtains in my bedroom. Obviously, we have the shades, and I would really love to just get blinds all throughout the house, so that, that's a future project. And, um, yep, my husband still has the suitcase for a nightstand. I'm going to give you the view from back here from the bed you can basically see um my walls are totally bare i've never hung up any decorations in my bedroom so i'm excited to be able to do that today and i'm gonna be painting this dresser as well and uh that's it we're, we're gonna make this room look super duper cute i can't wait so the first thing we are gonna do is add some curtains into this room. I'm so excited because I've never had curtains in my master bedroom before. And I just went on Amazon. I ordered some new curtain rods and some new curtains. My husband already installed um, the hooks up there for me to hang them. And I just went with like a sheer white because these are not for blocking the sun. We have the shades for that. These are just to make the room look more cozy, inviting, and pretty. And I'm going to be incorporating some gold colors into my room as well. So I went with these beautiful gold um, curtain rods. I just love these beautiful curtains. I'm going to give you a close up and show you like the little bit of texture that they have on them. But I am so excited. I now have some curtains in my bedroom and I love them. And I also went ahead and ordered some tie backs because I do want to let the sun in and these are really just decorative <laughs> since they're not for blocking the sun. So I ordered these cute little um, gold magnetic tie backs from Amazon. So this is what they look like when they're all hung up with the tie backs. I have to get tie backs for um, the other window as well. I only ordered one set. I don't exactly know what I was thinking, but this is the texture of the curtains with the gold tie backs. Oh, I just love them. And then this is um, the gold curtain rod that I ordered. I think it looks so pretty. 
and OMG, guess what I got? You're not even going to believe it. <laughs> I got my husband a little nightstand. I'm so excited. I think it's super duper cute. And wait until I show you this. I had to be careful because I had to make sure that the closet door actually opened because there's not a lot of space here. All right. I was so dang excited when I walked into TJ Maxx and found these. I was looking for some home decor. I was not looking for a nightstand for my husband because it just really wasn't a priority at the time that I went to TJ Maxx. I don't even know if I got a good deal. It was uh, like $70 is what it cost. Here's why I got it because I thought it was so dang cool. Yes, it's a nightstand and now he'll have a proper nightstand by the side of the bed instead of the suitcase. So any all that freaked out that he had a suitcase. <laughs> He'll be so happy now. This, oh my gosh. Wait till I show you this. Look at, look at this. It has plugs. So you actually plug the nightstand in and this has two spots for like phone charging and things like that. And this, oh my gosh. I thought that was genius. I'm sure these types of tables are more expensive than, you know, a regular. I mean, it's really not. It's just a little teeny thing here. It just has like one drawer. But that, I mean, we don't need. And it does have like a little shelf down here too. I could probably put some decor on that. But look at that. He's got himself a nightstand. So now we just got to plug it in. And I think it will really help like, well, you're probably still going to be able to see the cord. But anyways, we can take care of the dang, uh, what a, the extension cord that he uses to charge his phone now. All right, we are going to move on. I'm going to be working on this in spurts. I am working on painting my dresser to lighten it up and just match this room a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all of the hardware first. Now, I went back and forth on what to do with this dresser. I found this channel. Oh my gosh, you have got to check it out. It's called Black Sheep House. And look at how dirty this is behind the hardware. Oh my goodness. Lots of dust behind this hardware. So anyways, she refinishes furniture and she actually sells furniture, which I'm not interested in doing that. But I got some awesome ideas from her channel. Most of the channels that I have watched about painting furniture use a lot of chalk paint, which I really don't have any experience with chalk paint, but I have heard that it chips or cracks easily. I'm not certain if that's true or not. Again, I don't have experience with chalk paint. I'm going to go ahead and wash this dresser real good with some Dawn dish soap. Get all the grease and grime off of it before I start this project. But I've just seen a ton of different techniques on that Black Sheep House channel. I think her name is Shannon. She does really beautiful work and she uses really affordable products. So if you're looking to possibly paint something, furniture in your house, I highly recommend you check her out. You may find something that you like. So I'm gonna be doing one of her techniques on this dresser. So I washed the dresser all up. I gave it a real quick, just light scuff sanding. And I'm gonna start with primer because I wanna lighten this up. And I'm using um, Zinsers 123 primer because that's what Shannon likes to use. So I'm going to use products that she used on her furniture and see how I like it. And hopefully this turns out. It's going to be my first time doing it, so I don't expect it to be perfect, but this is how I'm going to learn. All right, I thought I was finished with my first coat of primer. <laughs> Just when I go to film, I miss that one piece. It's fine. I'm going to let this dry so I can put on my second coat of primer. Uh, my husband heard me yelling at the cat because she was trying to sniff in the paint. And uh, he came in. He's like, ooh, that looks rustic. I like it. <laughs> I'm like, it's just primer, honey. So one coat of primer looks terrible because it's just primer. And, um, you know, I'm a newbie painter. There she is again. Take it out of here. 
Ugh, cats are so darn curious. So anyways, uh, one coat down, at least one more primer to go. Well, this is great. What do you do when you have cats? Apparently Tom wanted to help with the painting and now he's got paint all over his dang fur. OMG. Oh my goodness, my Tom. <laughs> I love him, but he drives me crazy sometimes. All right, I did get new hardware for the dresser, which just getting new hardware is a great way to update any piece, even if you didn't want to paint it. And so I'm going to fill in these holes because the hardware is not going to fit in these holes. Let that dry, sand it down, and we'll have to drill new holes for the new hardware. All right, I am finally done with the priming. I had to add four coats of primer. I think I was doing pretty thin coats, but it was I knew I would have to add more than one because it's dark. And you can just do the paint itself. But because I'm doing a different technique, I really had to get it lighter with the primer. And I ended up putting my drawers back in here because my room is a freaking mess right now. And I had stuff everywhere. And it was driving me nuts. And look at these two. They've decided they like hanging out down here. <sighs> Thank goodness they're not hanging out up on top. Although they have been climbing up here. I can see cat hair <laughs> driving me nuts. All right, we're going to do... Um, a little, a few other things. I just need a little break from painting right now. So we're going to do a couple other things in here and then I'll come back to this. All right. I got some new bedding and I'm so dang excited. So this is currently what my bed looks like. If you saw my bedroom declutter, then you already know that. And I ordered some new bedding. Actually, my husband got me some new bedding. Look at this. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, for Christmas which was so sweet of him, but I had already picked out a set that I really loved and Viv really loved the comforter he got. So we ended up giving it to her and I ordered this set and my husband said that he searched and searched for a mint green comforter, which was so dang sweet of him because he knows I like mint green, um, but I'm so glad he didn't find it because I wanted white. <laughs> So all of this needs to be washed, but I'm just going to stage the bed and see how I like it. I need to wash my sheets too. So I'm just going to get everything on here and see how I like it. And then I'm going to wash everything. And you probably already saw in the intro, this stain comforter is so big. I couldn't even fit it in my washing machine. So I had to go to the laundromat to wash this thing. I love my bed so much. It is absolutely humongous, probably because... My husband and I had a queen for 17 years of our marriage before we got this king size bed and we always had kids in our bed so we never had room. Um, but this bed is larger than a normal size king bed. So it does take up a big chunk of my room. I would actually love to do some furniture rearranging in here and see how, you know, that always freshens up a room. But because of the size of my bed, if I were to move it, to the other window, it would actually take up this whole wall that I'm facing right now and the other whole wall. So I would lose a whole wall of space. This is the only area that it fits based on where our closets are, the door is, the bathroom door is, where you can actually have room to move. So unless I want to get rid of my bed I'm, or my dresser, which I don't want to get rid of either, uh, I'm pretty much stuck with this setup, which is totally fine because I love this bed and I love my bedroom. I ordered a couple new king size pillow cases, or not pillow cases, pillows too. And they don't even fit inside the pillow cases. These pillows are huge, but they barely fit inside the decorative pillow cases. So I'm going to put them in there. And when I was at TJ Maxx, I grabbed a couple of throw pillows too. I'm going to try these out on the bed. I have never had throw pillows on my bed before, so I'm not sure what I think about those. Uh, but one staple that's definitely staying on my bed is um, this is the quilt that my aunt had made for me, and it is out of my grandmother's clothes, and I love this quilt so much. And I'm going to be doing, well, you already know I'm doing like some pastels and bright colors in here, so I think it looks amazing. 
and I always have this on my bed. It's usually too heavy in the summertime, but in the wintertime, it definitely keeps me warm and I love it so, so much. My Donna Jean tries to steal it from me sometimes, but I always get it back. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. I love this new white bedding. It's so beautiful. I feel like for the first time ever <laughs> in my adult life, I have a beautiful bed. I am so excited and I totally forgot um, because I got this a while ago that it came with that decorative pillow. It's so cute and the color. Oh, I, you already know I love green. I love green. So I think it looks really nice. I'm not sure about the other throw pillows. And I already know some of y'all are going to say, take this off. No, I'm not taking it off. This is important to me and it's my bedroom and I love it. I'm going to be adding some other things in this room that have some pink colors in them because I love pink as well. So I am super duper happy with this bedding set. Let me give you the view from this way. I know it's kind of hard because the sun's coming in, so the lighting's a little weird, but let me know what you think of those other two throw pillows. I, the colors were totally fine with me, um, but I think because they're different shaped, but I think different shape look, pillows look pretty together. So I don't know, I've never had throw pillows on my bed before. I might just keep the one. We'll see, but we got new bedding. I'm so excited. All right, I'm gonna hang some art on the wall. I'm so excited. I've never had pictures in my bedroom. I ordered some canvases from an artist that I found on Etsy that I absolutely loved. And for these, we decided to use the like Velcro um, 3M, Oh, what are they called? The command strips. So we decided to use those in here. I ordered the frames from Amazon and it took me a few times. I mean, we measured obviously when we put them up, but to get them actually up there and Velcroed in, I kept having it crooked. So I got one on my husband's side of the bed and one on my side of the bed. The pictures are different. They're both like just abstract art and I absolutely fell in love with them. Okay, so of course one side of the wall where the wall ends to the window is like eight inches longer <laughs> on one side. But we did center them measuring from the window to the end of the wall and this is what they look like up close. They're just abstract art beautiful colors that I absolutely love. So I'm super duper excited to get these pictures up. All right, it's finally time for me to start painting. And I just have some um, 330 maybe or 320 sandpaper and any little imperfections I see. There was a couple of teeny little paint drips because I'm a very inexperienced painter. I'm just gonna kind of sand those off so they don't show, which I don't even know if they would have showed through the technique that I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna give the top of my dresser a light coat of sanding as well, just to make sure that it's smooth and make sure I don't have any cat hair or anything else like that on top of the dresser. Then of course I will wipe everything off and I will get to a painting. And I'm thinking of leaving the mirror off because I feel like it will open the room up. And I do have another mirror already in my bedroom. So I started painting the first drawer. And as I was getting the paint on, I was like, oh, this is not, <laughs> this is not the color that was in my vision for this dresser. But I went ahead and painted the whole drawer and kind of let it dry for a minute to see <laughs> if maybe it would be better. But definitely, it when it went on, it looked orange and that it was not what I was going for. So what I did was took equal parts paint and equal parts um, top coat. I used Verithane uh, water-based polyurethane top coat. 
and you brush it on or roll it on, but I prefer brushing. And then you take a whisk broom and you kind of create like wood-like strokes in the dresser. So here's a picture of what I used to mix this up for basically my final coat of paint. But I did have to run back to Home Depot and get a different color. And you can see it turned out much more like I was hoping for. I wanted a very like a light wood look. So I ended up grabbing a color called Nut Brown, mixed equal parts of Nut Brown with the Verathane Polyurethane, and that's what I'm painting on. So the first little drawer that I did, I actually just painted over what I had already done, so that's why that one looks darker. So what I'm gonna have to do probably is go back and put a new coat of primer on that to cover that up and then repaint it with this mixture. The second drawer that I did, the full drawer, looks just about exactly how I wanted it to look. And my husband had actually come in the room when I was painting. And so you see me kind of like pointing because I was showing him some things. There's this little mark in that second drawer where I added some more paint and it, it got a little bit darker. And my husband was like, but it looks like a regular knot of wood that you would see on real wood. So I was like, yeah, you're right, it kind of does. So now I'm taking the whisk broom and just going right over the paint. And you do this as many times as you want until you get the color that you're going for. And I was going for a lighter color. Okay, I can't wait to show you how the dresser turned out. We're gonna take a look at the hardware. This is the hardware that I currently have on my um, closet doors. And I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade these. I got some new super cute ones that will go with the room a lot more than these ones will. I'm learning all kinds of things with doing these <laughs> upgrades in this room. So this one piece of hardware had a bolt on the inside it was the only one out of the four that had this on here. So I'm just getting the bolt off. I actually didn't realize that the rest of them did not have a bolt. And I thought that all I would need to do would be to take the bolt out and then the um, knobs would just come off. But it didn't quite work like that. So I got the bolt out and I was hoping I could just push the screw out that did not work i tried to unscrew it that did not work either and then i see this little teeny knob but this is too big <laughs> so i ran downstairs and got that and i was able to loosen it just enough so that i could unscrew the screw this way to get the knob off let me tell you every single one of these knobs worked differently it was the biggest pain in the butt but i got it off thank goodness and i'm gonna have to paint but look at the new knobs i got oh my gosh i ordered them from etsy they're like a pinkish color gemstone and uh, with gold and they just screwed right in beautifully and easily and i'm so glad the whole size <laughs> worked out perfectly because I didn't want to have to drill new holes in here. So there it is. It looks beautiful. It did come with a bolt that you can put in the back, but the screw wasn't quite long enough, but it's going to stay in place. So there is the difference between the new hardware and the old hardware. I love it so much. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these knobs off so that I can replace them. This one gave me all kinds of trouble. I tried to use the technique that I used on the other one, but I could not get a grip on the teeny little screw. It was like glued into the other part where the other one had come loose. So I went over to my husband's closet and was trying to get, see if I could get a little grip on the screw on this one to unscrew these and then I just started unscrewing the whole thing and these ones came out so much easier. They just unscrewed right out. I wish mine would have been like that. 
So thank goodness these two were fairly easy to get out. And at first I was like, oh my gosh, Jody, why didn't you do this with yours? And then I realized I tried and they wouldn't come out. I don't know if it was like stripped or what the issue was, but these ones just unscrewed so nicely and made it so much easier for me than having to pull out a bunch of tools that I don't even really know how to use, but I'm learning. And after I got the bedding on and the pictures hung, my husband already came in the room and says, well, it's official. I'm sleeping in a girly room. <laughs> he really doesn't mind. Wait till he sees these new <laughs> knobs for the closet. <laughs> oh, I just wanted a pretty room. Not that he doesn't have a say. He certainly does. But he doesn't mind it at all. So I'm going to make myself a pretty room. And these are all things that we can change out at a later date if we decide to. And we want to go with a different style. All right, so I am thrilled with these new knobs for my closet door. I could not get that one off. So I am going to have to get my husband's help with it. I have tried. It's just I, I do believe that it is stripped somehow and I can't get a hold of the screw so that's gonna have to stay until he gets home but this is what they look like I love them so much and now it's time to announce the $25 Amazon gift card from the gift card giveaway that I announced last week and the winner is Mary Jane Rodriguez congratulations send me an email my email is always listed down in the description box and I will send you over, I will email you a $25 Amazon code. Thank you to all of you that entered and stay tuned for a new gift card giveaway coming soon. All right, I'm moving the mirror out and I also moved my nightstand out because after I bought my husband the nightstand, they had two, but I only bought one. I ran back that night <laughs> and got another one. So we would have matching nightstands. And because I thought it was so darn cool, it does give me a lot of space over here, which is totally fine. But I think it'll just look cute to have matching nightstands. And I could actually move my bed over just a little bit. But the bed is so, oh my gosh, it's so freaking heavy. So I'm going to unwrap the cord. I'm going to plug it in. And I'm going to plug my phone charger into the back. I love this thing so much. And I actually plugged my phone in, tested it, and made sure it worked. And it does. And I'm going to put this little thing that my girls made me over there. And now I'm going to go ahead and take off the tag from my husband's nightstand, plug his in, and hope the cord fits so I can get rid of this dang extension cord here. And yay, it worked so I can get rid of the extension cord sticking out. I mean, you can still see the cord, but it is what it is. All right, I got to make my bed for the day. And I had a child in my bed last night. So I'm going to be moving all of her bedding into her room. Get my bed made. I tell you what, ever since I put this new comforter on, Tom has been loving sleeping on my bed, which is awesome except for you know he's a black cat so it leaves black hair everywhere on my dang white bedding and of course there's my husband putting his blanket over his pillows just in case the cats do lay on the bed because he doesn't want them laying on his pillow so I'm just gonna fold his little blanket up that he has and put it under his pillow so you can't see it We've got Grayson, Edward, and EJ coming over tonight. My oldest daughter, her husband, and her son. Um, so I want to show her my new bedroom. And I don't want that, <laughs> that blanket on the bed. So I'll just hide it underneath his pillow. I'm finding little clumps of black cat hair <laughs> that I had to pull off. Oh, I love this comforter set, but oh, it's going to be a pain that I have to go to the laundromat every time I want to wash it because I usually like to wash my comforter at least once a month. All right, now I'm just going to give my room a quick vacuum and then we'll take a look at the before 
and how it looks. And now I'm so, so excited. I want to thank you so, so much for stopping by and watching this video. I appreciate you so much. Next week, I will be bringing you another decluttering video, but I wanted to get this bedroom decorated and take you along with me. And of course, I still have my cardboard box that I use as my laundry hamper. And I'm keeping it because I like it and it fits nicely there. All right, you know we got to take the walk down memory lane. So this is what my bedroom looked like before. I love the paint colors I picked out. We've got the old hardware up, my husband's suitcase as a nightstand, my old bedding up, no curtains, nothing on the walls, just kind of a plain Jane bedroom and my dresser the way that it was. And now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the after. I'm so, so happy with how everything turned out. Oh my gosh, the after. I'm not finished. Projects always seem to take a little bit longer than I think they will. But oh my goodness, remember it before? My bed looks so pretty and I love our new nightstands and the pictures and my husband got the broken doorknob off uh, and so we replaced all of those. So, so happy. I love the way the dresser turned out. I already told you the one drawer is darker because I had painted over it after the paint that I bought so I know how to fix that. I just haven't done it yet. The only thing that happened was when my husband, I bought the long hardware for the five drawers because that middle drawer is a long drawer. And when he went to screw that one in, the screw broke off inside of the handle. So when I ordered the little knobs for the two little drawers, it came in a set of five. So he just put those up there. I mean, I think they look fine because they're all uniform on the top. Let me know, should I order another one of the long gold one and put that in the middle? What do you think? But let me just show you what the texture, and I made some mistakes because again, it was my first time, but this is what the texture of doing that method looks like. It, it just kind of looks like wood. I freaking love it. I'm super in love with it. It When you touch it, it has a teeny little bit of texture feel, but not really. Um, and I got to learn so much by doing this project. And if I wanna do it again this way, then I'll know exactly what to do. So this wall, let me know if you think I should keep the mirror down. The hubs is like, I want the mirror back up. And I said, honey, let's give it, let's give it two weeks without the mirror <laughs> and see what we think. So I don't know if you caught my family room declutter. There is a picture that I dearly love that my grandmother painted. I'll pop a picture of it up on the screen. I took that to Michael's to get it framed. I'm getting it framed in a beautiful gold picture and it's going to go up on this wall is my plan with my OMG picture. The painter made this for me. Is this not freaking adorable? So this right here is the wallpaper that was in this bedroom. This is the wallpaper that was in my bathroom. And then she found these two like behind some of this wallpaper. And so she made me this OMG sign. Is it not the cutest thing ever? So I'm gonna hang this up here as well once I get the picture from my grandmother um, that I had framed and I've just put my, I don't know if I'll keep that be obsessively grateful there, but that's where it is right now. I'm in love with my new curtains. I cannot wait until we get new carpet up here. And here's my little nightstand. And I decided my husband got me flowers for Valentine's day and they came in this gorgeous pink vase that I loved. So I put that up with some flowers. That's a little thing that my girls had made me for Mother's Day. And this little sign that I love, gratitude changes everything. So that's it. I think everything in here is done other than this wall that I will be hanging those couple of pictures on. Um, I don't know. I might, I don't know. Do I wanna paint the bed? Should I paint the bed the same as the dresser? <laughs>
I don't know. This would be a humongous project. This bed is so freaking massive, you can't even move it. Like, you got to take it apart or get furniture movers, which we don't have. Um, so, anyways, I don't know. But let me know what you think. I'm super duper happy with it. I love the way it turned out. And I just feel like I have a fresh, new, beautiful bedroom that makes me so, so happy. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much for stopping by. And I hope you have a fantastic day. I'm going to see you again soon. Bye.